are going to learn about Remainder Theorem. In normal division, dividend, divisor, the quadrant, and remainder are well known. Here, 47 is divided by 5. 47 is the dividend, 5 is the divisor, 9 is the quadrant, and 2 is the remainder. Dividend equal to divisor into quadrant plus remainder. 47 equal to 5 into 9 plus 2. When we divide 47 by 5, we get 9 quadrant and 2 remainder. Like that, if we divide P of X polynomial with a linear polynomial G of X, we get polynomial quadrant and remainder. Now, take us P of X as dividend polynomial, G of X as divisor polynomial, Q as quadrant, and R as remainder. If we divide P of X with linear polynomial G of X, we get quadrant polynomial and remainder. We know that dividend polynomial equal to divisor polynomial into quadrant plus remainder. P of X equal to G of X into Q plus R. If G of X equal to X minus P, then P of X equal to X minus A into Q plus R. If X equal to A, then P of A equal to A minus A into Q plus R. That is P of A equal to R. Hence P of A is equal to remainder. What is remainder theorem? Let P of X be a polynomial of any degree greater than or equal to 1 and let A be any real number. If P of X is divided by A, linear polynomial X minus A, then the remainder is P of A. This is called remainder theorem. Example, P of X equal to 3X cube minus 4X square plus 10x minus 7 is the polynomial and g of x equal to x minus 2. It is the linear polynomial. If we divide p of x, we get p of a. Now, using the remainder theorem to find the solution, p of x equal to the polynomial, g of x equal to linear polynomial. If x minus 2 equal to 0, then x equal to 2. Substitute x equal to 2 in p of x. Then p of 2 equal to 3 of x cube minus 4 into 2 square plus 10 into 2 minus 7. p of 2 equal to 3 into 8 minus of 4 into 4 plus 10 into 2 minus 7. p of 2 equal to 21. Therefore, the remainder p of 2 equal to 21. Now we are going to do it by long division method. 3 of 3x cube minus 4x square plus 10x minus 7 is divided by g of x linear polynomial. We get We get 21 as reminder. Hence, the reminder is the same for both the methods. 
it is found that Remainder Theorem method is simple. Thank you.